Ho, oh, uh, we're back for another what sold on eBay this week video. This is for the last week of July 2020. I'm Dave. This is my channel and I'm here to help all you little cleaners maybe find something at the thrift store that you can clean off the shelves. So with that, let's get right started on what sold this week on eBay. What sold this week first was This lot of four vintage romance horror gothic type novels. Um, yes, and s several of these I already had here. I recently bought a Dorothy Eden one to to uh, complete this lot, I guess you would call it, and get me moving on on getting stuff listed. And so I got these ones listed finally, and they didn't take very long to sell. Let's see. Uh, I paid 40 cents for these. I listed I listed this uh, July 21st, and I sold it July 22nd for 10.99 plus shipping, which was incentive enough for me to pick up another Dorothy Eden book when I was out thrifting yesterday. So uh, that's incentive enough for me anytime is when I sell something. So okay, let's go next. Uncle Arthur's Bedtime Stories. This was a display book, as you can see there on the. It's a display copy, and uh, I paid a dollar twenty-nine for this at Goodwill. I listed it June twenty-third, sold it a month later, July twenty-second, for ten ninety-nine plus shipping. Next. Okay, now this came. This was this was in uh in a tote down here in the basement. Had been here for. Quite a few years, I packed this up when I closed uh, an old antique booth I was in probably about eight years ago, and it's been sitting. It had been sitting in that tote ever since, and I recently got it out in another video, I believe, and I did get it listed. And uh, let's see, I don't know what I paid for it. I'm a, I'm I believe that originally I probably got it uh, either in a clean out. Sometimes some estate clean out or at an auction in a box lot. Uh, so anyway, I don't know what I paid for it. It's been too long. And so that's that. So anyway, uh, I listed it June June 29th and sold it July 23rd. And I got I did get the 30 bucks for it plus shipping, the twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. So that was that was pretty exciting to see that go out the door after being a part of our family here for so long. Uh, um, yeah, so now it's, now it's part of somebody else's family and it did work. I had tested it, so I do know that it did work. So I hope that it made some really, it's making some really great coffee right now and changing everybody's lives for the better. All right, next. And this was just a letter punch. I sold just, just one of them that not the whole bunch. They, they, you buy them by the piece and, uh, let's see, they bought just one. So it cost me about a quarter and, uh, I listed it. June, June third, I or July third last year. I I made this listing last year, and I sold it <clears throat> July twenty third for five ninety nine. Five ninety nine plus shipping on that. I I get uh, three ninety nine just across the board shipping for that. So that was pretty great. I was pretty happy with that. All right, next I sell those. I sell those. I don't know one or two a month. Sometimes something like that getting thinner now i'm getting fewer of them so uh this present darkness a dollar i paid for the pair of these and uh they actually were here for a while as well i don't know how long i had them here but i had i had two lots of these so uh when i when i made this listing so anyway yeah so i paid a buck i listed it uh july july 11th sold july 24th and i got i got 10.99 plus shipping for these books Okay, next. Piercing the Darkness. Next. Salem's Lot. You may have rem you may remember this from a recent haul video I did uh, from the Goodwill. I don't know, a couple weeks ago maybe. And let's see. So this was a uh, Salem Lot's paperback book. 99 cents I paid for it. I listed it... Uh, I believe it was July 16th. Uh, I... I May have got maybe it may have taken a couple of days to get the pictures put in and, and get it all actually listed, but it sold on the 24th of July and 
at auction. I and I actually got four bids for it, so uh, it went for twenty two fifty, which was I was happy with that. I was I was pretty happy twenty two fifty for a paperback. Uh, I I think that's nothing to be ashamed of. So next, Aunt Martha's Iron Ons. I paid fifty cents for these. Uh, again, they're only they're only buying one, so I paid fifty cents. And let's see, whichever. Let's see. It was uh, originally let's see listed. I listed. I made this listing March eighteenth, two thousand eighteen. So two years ago, over two years ago now. Uh, this this one sold July twenty fifth for five ninety nine, free shipping. So I don't make much at all on these, but uh, uh, just a little bit. But it just it's just recurring. Every so often, I sell another another one of them. So next. VHS tape. This was also in a haul video recently. Uh, this actually cost me six cents. My mom's a werewolf, and this was not in the correct. The I mean, the case that it was in, that someone had actually taken the the cardboard box and had cut it and put it inside a plastic case, which was a thing that they did quite a bit back in the day. Uh, anyway, so I paid six cents for this. They're they are currently four for a quarter at one of the local thrift stores. So, <clears throat> uh, let's see. So, uh, July sixteenth, it was listed. It sold July twenty fifth for six ninety nine. Maybe I should have ran that at auction instead of, but that was a that was a fair price for it, I think. So next, it's six ninety nine plus shipping. Next. All right, uh, Revereware. Revereware lid. This was uh, almost an 8-inch lid. Not quite the one that sold here, but I paid 79 cents for it. I listed it June 21st, sold July 25th for $10.99 plus shipping. $10.99 plus shipping on that. Next. It's a lot of four paperbacks. They were in a slipcase. So they're, they're in a slipcase. And these were, these were, I believe these were upstairs in my room waiting to be listed and I finally went on another tear there recently and started listing paperback books that were here, there, and around. So uh, I did get these. Let's see, I got these listed. Uh, let's see, twenty-five cents. Twenty-five cents is what I what I have here that I paid. I don't know where I got it that I paid twenty-five cents for it, but that is the case. And then let's see, I listed it. It was listed July 12th, sold July 26th for $9.98 plus shipping. All right, next. This is something out of that Brio lot that I showed you uh, recently. I believe it was it was a Goodwill haul that I that I did, and I parted the entire, all of it out, in in a lot of it into very small. I mean, like one-off listings and I I did lot up some of the tracks and that sort of thing uh, I believe this was the first thing that I sold out of that out of that uh, out of that lot and let's see I paid 31 cents once I broke it all down I, I broke it all down into the amount of, of listings I got out of that originally the bag cost me like like 13 bucks and uh, I got a lot of listings out of this so 31 cents is what this this one piece cost me and I listed it July 18th, sold it on the 26th for $7.99 plus shipping. $7.99 plus shipping for that little piece. So, oh, that was good to me. Next. Vimana, Flying Machines of the Ancients. I, I don't know much about it. I've had it for a while. Um, let's see. What did I get for that? There it is. I don't know what I paid for it. I have, I have that I have it here for nothing, so I don't know what what I paid. I listed it March twenty fourth, twenty twenty. I think actually it came from a, a property I cleaned out. I think that's where it may have came from. Uh, yeah. So I listed it March twenty fourth, sold it July twenty sixth, and I got sixteen dollars and ninety cents for that. I think I might have. I'm not sure. I may have sent out an offer. But sixteen ninety plus shipping on that. But I'm, I was good with that. Next. These are three three DVDs. Uh, Jeanette Oak. 
DVD lot of three. And I believe I picked these up at the niche in the free stuff. I think they were out in the free stuff. Yes, they were. So that's that. I listed it uh, June 21st, sold July 27th for $14.95 plus shipping. $14.95 plus shipping. Next. And it's a pair of a pair of tracks. I'm not sure if I priced these too low or what I did. These came out of that Brio stuff. I need a drink of water. Um, yeah, they. I could not find another pair of tracks like these. I found similar ones, but they they weren't they weren't quite the same. So I may have been a little too cheap on these. I don't know, but I'm okay with that price. So, uh, yeah. Let's see where they're at here. Yes, they are. Those thirty one cents I paid. Listed July 18th, sold on the 27th for $10.99, $10.99 plus shipping. Next. So I'm in the green, right there, in the green, on that on that purchase. And then I sold this, just one track. Right, it's a dually, a, a double track there, two lane. Again, $0.31, cents, listed July 17th, sold July 27th for $14.99 plus shipping for that piece. That was sweet. All right, next. Ah, these Anchor Hawking Wexford on the rocks tumblers. The these little lowball glasses. Uh, they they do sell. They're one of the few Wexford pieces that will really hammer. Though they really do do quite well. The other ones, if you're if you're if you're patient with some of the other ones, that they'll they'll go too. But these ones, I usually sell when I get them, which isn't that often. I usually sell them pretty high. So anyway, I paid, yeah, you're not going to believe, I paid 40 cents for all of them, for the lot, 40 cents, 40 cents, how about that, I was good with that, okay, uh, yeah, and I listed them June 30th, sold July 27th, and I got 39.99 plus shipping, 40 bucks plus shipping, 40 cents to 40 bucks, that's how you do it, at least I think. Maybe not, you know. Okay, I'm a little excited here about this sale. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm a little excited about this sale? I am. So, okay, next. Godzilla. Go, go, Godzilla. Yeah, there's four VHS tapes. I paid two bucks. Um, listed them July 17th. Sold July 28th for eleven ninety nine plus shipping. Next. And these were, these were, I'm not sure, I think I got these at the niche. I think I got them at the niche in in a bag lot. Well, I don't know, I forget exactly what it was. If it was a $3 for a, a grocery bag full of stuff, or if it was a, a little bag that they already had their price for something. And this is, I know I parted the whole thing out. But these surprised me. These were, um... I did really good with the with the entire with the whole I've done well with that the all the stuff that was in that bag so far but yeah so the, but these were this was a really good one so um I thought anyway I mean it's not very much money but still uh when you I don't think it's worth nothing 15 cents 15 cents for these listed July 2nd sold July 28th for $9.98 plus chipping so cool all right, next. And this, this, uh, let's see, is this the one? All right, now, I sold one of these recently. This is the second one I sold, but uh, the first one sold for 65 And then I went back to the place where I, where, I, where I got these, and I bought four more. I didn't buy them all because I'm cheap. but So I, I paid five bucks a piece for them. Listed this, let's see, so then I relisted it to uh, July 24th, sold it July 29th, this one here for 80 bucks. 80 bucks plus shipping on this. Now, now don't laugh. These things, there, there's a, there was a, a price tag on the bottom of one of the boxes. The original retail price on this was $209. So, I mean, 
if you can't get them anymore, and this is what you like using, and I doubt, really, really pretty much doubt you can get these anymore, uh, it, that, that's probably a steal. That was probably a steal. It's probably a steal for. I'm sure it is, if that's what they want. So 80 bucks, uh, I'm really good with that. It, they sell. They sold at different different levels. I mean, some were higher than this. Some were lower. I chose this price to sell it. I five bucks to eighty bucks. What are you gonna do? So anyway, yeah, that was a good price. Um, I'm probably thinking I should stop in at that place and maybe share some of the wealth. Um, because it'd be the right thing to do. So uh, I'll probably do that. But all right. So, I haven't sold any more since then. I still have three laps, so they could, who knows how long they'll take to sell. Next. Alright, this present darkness, this is the second lot of these that's sold, so I'm out of those. Those are gone now. Same deal on that, so I don't need to remind you. 1099 for those, so next. This is a lot of Margaret Way. I was not sure if these books still sold. I, I had them. I had them from way, way in the way, way back, and I used to I used to sell Margaret Way paperback uh, romance books quite quite regular. I, I mean I, they sold good, um, not not so high anymore, but they were still just around here. So I did put the listing up, and they did sell pretty quickly actually. Uh, let's see, where are they at? Um, oh, they're not in here. Well, let me fix that. I'll just have to fix that. Okay, it's all better now. Uh, I have that I paid nothing for these because I, I, I don't know. It's been too long. Anyway, they were listed July 12th, sold July 29th for six ninety nine. Six ninety nine plus shipping. So it's not it's not big, but you know it. I I hate to get rid of stuff. I just I just despise just getting rid of stuff. I have to do it now because I had a lot of stuff that sat around too long and it's gotten damaged and uh, or just doesn't sell anymore. So uh, I do have to do it from time to time, but I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So anyway, next. And this is this is uh, Crown Victoria. Two two of these. I sold two. I had some of these last week, too. I hadn't sold any in forever and ever and ever. Now they're sold out. <laughs> cool. Um, originally listed. I don't know what I paid for them originally. I, I, I don't know where they came from. But anyway, I originally listed these May 17th, 2018. So uh, two years. They've been up just over two years. Sold July 29th for $9.90 for the pair. $9.90 for the pair. Plus shipping. And... Uh, there is very little that excites me more than selling something that I've had listed for such a long time. I just love it. So, yeah, I know. My life is pretty, pretty kind of lame if that's what excites me. But it does. So, all right. Next. And more pieces of that Brio. That Brio stuff. These are support risers for the track. Um, 31 cents paid for this lot. Listed July 18th, sold July 29th for $10.99 plus shipping. $10.99 plus shipping. Okay, next. VHS tape. Dean Martin as Matt Helm in The Silencers. I don't think I've ever seen it, but it looks like it's something cool to watch. Something from like the, you know, 50s or something. You know, it just seems like a cool, maybe 60s. That might be 60s. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, so 49 cents I paid for this one. Listed it December 14th, 2019, so last year. And uh, sold it July 30th. July 30th for $5.40 plus shipping. And that's that. So next. And this was... Uh, let's see. I picked this up for 39 cents clearance at Goodwill, and I had just sold one. I just sold one just like it, so I just relisted it, and it didn't last very long. It sold it, it sold pretty quickly. Uh, well, two weeks. It took it took two weeks to sell. 
but then the person was a non-paying bidder, so they didn't they didn't pay. So non-paying bidder out. It should be relisted now. I think. Uh, pretty sure it's relisted. So that's that. But next, that was the only only non-paying bidder that I had. So I was pretty good with that. Uh, another piece of Brio, and uh, let's see. This one I paid thirty-one cents for. Same deal. Same. Sold it on the 30th for $4.99. $4.99 plus shipping. I was surprised it didn't do more, but it, it didn't. So, it, I mean, they, they don't. There, there were other ones listed, and they just weren't selling that great. So, oh well. Next. This was the last of my Zodiac mugs. They're all gone. I had them around here for quite a long time. Uh, 50 cents I paid for this. I listed it April 17th during the, uh, the big... Uh, shut down my store was shut down so i was home listing all those old all those mugs and i had sold a ton just a ton of those old coffee mugs that i had sitting around here i mean i have everything on a spreadsheet and when i go to that section of the spreadsheet where those those things from that frame were listed there's a whole bunch of listed where it's all it all shows sold they, they all show sold it's all filled in so you can see how many of them sold and just i sold i sold a lot of them so Anyway, that that's great. I I love that. So, and I did get. What did I get? I got eight ninety nine. So it sold on the thirtieth. I got eight ninety nine for that. So, plus shipping. Next. This is another, uh, thing for another listing from that Brio lot. And let's see, thirty one cents again. It sold on the thirtieth and on the thirtieth. Red roof. That's the red roof. Oh, there it is, six ninety nine for that one. I also, I actually did have a sale on Together in there for an Allen thumb release, but I, I didn't get a picture. I forgot to get a picture off of Together, and uh, it's the only sale I've had on Together in since probably December, maybe earlier than December. I don't, I don't remember the last time because they, they don't, they don't, they. they they don't use PayPal anymore. They they don't use PayPal, so you have to sign up for a different uh, a different service. So, um, I I think I signed up for Stripe or or something. I I have no idea what it was I signed up for, but I shipped it. So, uh, but it was just a thumb release that I had around for a while, and I got eight like eight fifty for it plus shipping. So uh, that was all right. So anyway, next. And this is a pair of Ozark, Ozark Trail men's shoes. These were around here. We've we had these around here forever, so I don't know what they cost. Uh, I listed them. They used to be in my wife's eBay. I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. I, I'm not really sure where they came from. She just gave them to me one day and said, "Here, sell these." So, uh, but honestly, March twentieth, two thousand seventeen, is when I listed them. Um, yeah. So. And not a good brand. Don't don't do it. But then again, who knows? Maybe somebody just absolutely loves them. Sold it. Uh, I sold them on the thirty first, uh, and and I got twenty three twenty three ninety nine. So plus shipping. So you know that's pretty good. So I thought I thought anyway. So that was everything. Everything I sold for the last week or so of July twenty twenty, and for everything that I sold, I paid eighteen dollars and ninety three cents. My my sales after that one non-paying bidder is four hundred and thirty dollars and ninety-three cents for the week, and I'm fine with that. That works fine with me. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that just that that's enough to keep me excited. That that uh, that pays pretty much pays my mortgage almost. So it's pretty good. So I live cheap, so uh, I don't need a lot of money. All right, that's it. That's everything. So thank you very much for tuning in. I remember I'm Dave. This is Estate Cleaner Dave's channel, and we do appreciate thumbs ups, and we do appreciate it if you subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know if there's any questions you have. Take care. Bye-bye.